Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show a demo on how to create a trigger on one table and insert data in other table in SQ. You know what is the trigger? Trigger is this such a type of store procedure. Um, it is also in writing the bunch of the SQL statements that um, automatically runs when an event occurs as per the business requirement in database server. So DML triggers run when a user tries to modify data through data manipulation language event. This DML event event. So in this demo, I will show. <coughs> this is my. Mm, I have two tables, EMP1 and EMP2. EMP it contains three records each. Now I, I want to show uh, creating. I want to create a trigger on this EMP1 and insert the data on EMP2. So, how to do this, I will show in this demo. First, I am creating the um, trigger. This is the syntax. Create trigger and trigger name tr for insert. So, uh, I am supposed to insert the row on which table? On EMP1 table. EMP1. EMP1 for in which action? Which DML event for insert? So this is the syntax as begin and end. And between begin and end, you need to write your insert statement. So I am writing the insert statement insert into values into EMP2 insert into EMP2 values values first I will show a structure of my two tables data if you see EMP1 it is ID as seed and increment uh, increment identity property and, and name as worker. The same way EMP2 also EMP2 also identity seed and increment with one each and uh, name and ID as integer. So we need not specifically mention the ID value at the time of the insertion. So here right now we have three rows each in each table. So I am in inserting this one with one value here on the, in the name column. Suppose I am in inserting here David. David is the name. It, it is the name. So I want to first I am creating the trigger on this is trigger name on EMP1 table for insert operation. And uh, I am doing, I am making my insert statement in between the begin and word begin and end. I am creating a trigger. So, trigger has been created now. Now, <coughs> first, I am writing the second, in, um, one more in, in insert statement. Insert into on table, uh, EMP1. Insert into EMP1 values values here, I am giving one value here. So, whenever you run this statement, automatically this trigger is fired and the, this insert record will insert into the table with this value. So, now I am running this one. I am executing this first one, see the EMP1. So, after executing this one, automatically the EMP2 also updated with new values, new record. Right now, once again, I make sure there, there are only three records in each table. See here, EMP1 and EMP2. Now, I am inserting the EMP1. See here, when I insert the EMP1, it will appear in the messages are appearing to two rows affected, one row and one row affected. So, one row is affected on one table and second row is affected on second table uh, after firing this trigger. So if you check the table, check the two tables, in 
example in emp1 siddu and emp2 it is david so this is how you know to insert a record by using the insert a row by by using the trigger usually in some applications we need to log the operations performed on tables and hence in such cases we need to use the triggers that can be used to insert insert the records into the log table so at the time we can use the triggers to insert into the insert into other table whenever we insert the record in one table so this is how you need to do so if you want to check your triggers go to your tables so we are we are creating the trigger on emp1 so that's why you can go to emp1 table emp1 table expand it here you find trigger in refreshing it so here you find trigger see here trigger name tg for insert this is the trigger name. so if you want to drop the um, trigger in just like a store procedure and a view you can drop trigger with trigger with tr for insert and the trigger name execute command successfully if you re, uh, refresh the your table you don't find any trigger here see here you don't find any trigger so this is how you need to create trigger on one table and insert the data in other table Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.